Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to adjust track height inside the, or, or adjust your track height, pardon me, inside Adobe Premiere Pro. It's very, very easy to do, and there are currently three really easy ways to do it, and I'll show you all three that I like. The first one, and the one that I use probably the most often, is I will go into this gray area here. You'll see that I'm hovering over top of it. I'm just going to left click, double left click on it. When I do that, you'll see that it automatically grows the height of the track, just like from tall to small, tall to small, tall to small, etc. And you can do the same thing for audio. And you will notice that when I do it to the audio track, it then further breaks down into left and right, as you can see there. So I'm going to go, first one's double click. The second method is sometimes you just want a little bit of an increase instead of like a, a large increase. So I'm going to hold down the command key if you're on a Mac the control key if you're on a PC and go ahead hold that down and then click on the plus and click on the minus this as you can see increases the size of just the video tracks it does not adjust the audio tracks so it's command or control depending on PC or Mac plus minus if you want to go ahead and increase the size oh, what I gonna do there if you want to increase or decrease the size of the audio tracks I'll just change this here I just made a boo-boo. You want to hold down the Alt or the Option key and then hit the plus and minus. And when I do that, you will notice that I've increased the size of the audio track and that's holding the plus key down. And then if I want to decrease the size of the track, I will do Alt or Option and then the minus key. The third and the final way, if you're really, really new, is you can go in and adjust it manually. You simply just hover over here into the gray area on your timeline and then you just want to basically move it up as you see fit. I do use this a fair bit, but the problem with this method is you can get, you know, very different sizes for your tracks, and it's hard to get them back to exactly where you want them. So I'll just show you the examples. So I'm going to increase this one here, I'm going to increase this one here, and I'll increase this one a lot to big. But those are the three ways, again, guys, to adjust track height in your timeline. Got a ton more tutorials coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.